Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. I really don't think that uh, we're going to get anything from selling this, right? Like if we, if we, uh, let's take a quick look, maybe. I don't, I don't want to sell. That's, I mean, it's a relevant amount. <laughs> I don't feel like going through the motions though. Like I really don't. God, 10 a piece is actually decent. 11 a piece from him. Well, yeah, Pericles, we can get some more from Pericles. We could also probably go gold per turn. Yeah, let's just leave it. I like that, dude. You should do a world tour where you go to all the wonders in the game. <laughs> and you do, you do a docu-series on YouTube where you recite the speech they give it to you. <laughs> I like it. I, I I could I could probably do the Apadana one. That one's pretty fun. All right, so we'll just we'll keep the favor. We're gonna slowly bleed it out. It's minus ten. <laughs> we're gonna sl we're just get, this is gonna disappear, I guess, and that's probably better than just you know trading all that. Just gonna leave some troops around. Oh, I can shoot you. I think I have to do this. Take a little bit more damage, but then we can heal next turn. Spend the next Congress. I mean, it, in five turns, we're going to lose 40. I mean, yeah, we can spend it in the next Congress to some degree, but it's not great. Valentin, thank you so much. One year. How about that? Thank you so much for the year of support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate One that year, a lot. Baby. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Welcome on back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to faith by. We're running out of faith here. But three bombards should melt this, and we'll just kind of meet in the middle. Cool. And we're getting close to mobilization. Nine turns till armies. <laughs> uh, um. Tons of time to find one era score. That should be fine. Science or gold? I think I like science. Sure. Sure. Do I have a spy in your lands or no? I don't think I do. <laughs> I forgot that I owned this guy. <laughs> He's just been chilling there the whole time. <laughs> He's been there for like a hundred turns. That's ridiculous.
Yeah, I know. I see the I see the tribal village. I don't even know if you can get up here. We can't. We can't. We'd have to go down. I guess we can. We can go down. We'll try to get him. So then, yeah, we do want to spy here. That works. Hotspur with the twenty nine months. Thank you so much. I don't like when you move units before selecting your age dedication. Other than that, excellent work as always. <laughs> That's the most specific note I can imagine. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if I can change for you. I really don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Hotspur. Thank you for the 29 months. Welcome back in the shop, my friend. I appreciate you. <laughs> I think I, I don't know if I can make such drastic changes in my life. I'm getting older, you guys. We're getting older. <laughs> uh, but I am a sellout, so now I guess I have to change. Thank you for the 105 bits, Hotspur. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. All right. Making a dent. I like that. Uh, I really don't want to die to this thing. There we go. There we go. Oh, we can get up there. Very nice. Sure, we'll grab a goodie hut. Maybe it'll maybe it'll have the secrets of nuclear fusion or something. It's amazing what you can learn from history and anthropology. You don't like it when I click next turn instead of the big arrow? Engineering is the art of What died? Really? You straight up killed one of my bombards? That's not very nice. Hey, oil. And oil there. Okay. More oil here, although I can't do it yet. I hate I hate when my units die. Oil up there. Yeah, you can click the arrow. Like when you click next turn instead of hitting enter on the keyboard. That's a valid that's a valid complaint, actually. That is a valid complaint. If I give you a flanking bonus, yeah. Flanking bonus. Oh, come on, really? I was like, flanky bonus looks like it's enough to. Oh, well. Sure, send me money. <laughs> I don't want to fight him right now. I don't think this will work. Tanks are a little bit on the table. We do have some oil. I'd actually think I think I'm I'm happier with infantry at the moment though. Although it's going to be very very expensive to upgrade to infantry. So maybe tanks are better. Tanks alongside Janissaries. Eh. I'm still going to go this route. I 
I do have a relevant general. Yeah, actually, maybe artillery over infantry. Hmm. Yeah, I think we might we might wind up finishing it up with Janissaries. We'll see. Against Genghis, it wasn't really working, so we're probably going to need planes to some degree. Or nukes. Help me. Claims that cannot be what I like about city. Send me money. <laughs> After all that, he just found the Mormon Bible, I guess. I need this. I, I like this too. I like I like that. That's fine. Five turns on armies. If six oil per turn, that's good. What up, Everlark? Thank you so much for the ten months. Working from home hype. Welcome on welcome on back, my friend. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Just just embrace it. Embrace the whole weirdness that is the coronavirus. Just just, you know, I don't know. Just hang out and watch your friendly local game mechanic. That's 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 my real advice for you. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back for ten months. Yeah, I think I like the science the most. It's a plan for today. I love it. <laughs> but embrace from six feet of distance. Yes, that is true, Swoofish. Guess we'll take the computer's boost. The other half of that doesn't matter. Oh, no, T. <laughs> That's no good, dude. Don't want to go up against this musket. Heal everybody where possible. You know, five combat strength on my siege units could be pretty good here. But I, I, I vastly have way more um, melee units than I do siege. So I guess I'll keep that. And then vote for myself here. Sure. Spend all that favor. Mongolia's getting huge. Uh-oh. Turn 200 culture bombs. What? That doesn't sound good to you? No. I probably won't get any money from that. Five comments right there. And then there. Nice. Weirdly enough... You and I come by road or rail. <laughs> Weirdly enough... Well on our way to a Diplo victory through all this war warring. Makes total sense.
All right, so that gives us a bunch of oil. Not enough for all of our units to upgrade, but we can be uh, we can be diligent about the ones that we do. Wow, yeah, 1,500 military strength is terrifying. That is terrifying. Yeah, it's true, Daddy G. It's true. Yeah, there's more oil down there. More oil here. We'll get it here, actually. I didn't really mean to do that. That's okay. I think I'm going to keep working on builders there. There's not much else to really work on. I also don't want to circumnavigate. Not yet. We don't need it. All right, there we go. So we go Diplo Visibility for the combat strength it grants. Turns out people still hate us. That's fine. That is fine. Five turns on the era. We're, we're over, so no worries. I know I'm passing a promotion there. Here I won't. Sure. Just get those things. Just queue up kind of whatever, I think, at this point. Do I want to be on this side of the mountain? There's clearly a city here with an entertainment complex. Eek. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course I want to trade horses to Mongolia. Said I wanted this to be a difficult game. Sure. Alright, uh, we'll keep this piece of junk. Literally doesn't do anything. That's not too... It, it figuratively doesn't do anything. It literally does something. <laughs> it is ours. Yes, indeed. Uh, muskets, Alex. And they're just better kind of in every way, shape, and form. So now I can upgrade to infantry. I wonder how expensive that is. I know it's brutal. Uh, 
Um, sure, I guess. I don't know. Too many cities. Too many cities. Ooh, Darwin goes quite well there, actually. Oh my goodness. How come nobody wanted to come settle over here? It's weird. Yeah, we want to wait. We don't need any more. I mean, we're already well over on era score. Three turns left. I don't think the game goes into another era, so it's probably fairly irrelevant. Um, but still, we want to manage it as best we can. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Believe it or not. Yeah, that works for the rest of our cities. Ten combat strength to city centers. That's good. Can't shoot over that, huh? I'm watching the series on YouTube, so this is like a big spoiler. <laughs> Spicy B, get out of here. No spoilers. No spoilers. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, no, this is a crazy one, man. I, I haven't had a game like this in some time. Kind of weirdly like it. Don't like that, though. <laughs> I'm going to try to not gripe about that because that just sort of is in the game right now. But it is incredibly frustrating. I realize that complaining is not super charismatic, so I'm going to try not to, but that really does irritate me. Yo, two unit maintenance. That's nice. The movement bugs peppermint. I'm going to leave that in there for now. Force modernization. What is our... What does this cost? 630. Ooh, baby. It's because they're so cheap on the front end. And so the gap between Janissaries and infantry is way higher than, than what muskets and infantries would be. I'll be drinking wine for my next game, Catherine, next. Uh, I am looking forward to playing Catherine. I don't think I'll be drinking at 10 in the morning, though. Doesn't really sound fun to me. <laughs> I feel like this is a bait. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a bait? Or should I just grab that? Just grab it. Just grab that goody hut. <laughs> Twenty oil. That's pretty pug, actually. <laughs> yeah, they're learning, they're adapting, they're getting smarter all the time. <laughs> Hi, Ann. Never seen give oil before. Uh, I've seen I've seen resources. I've probably seen oil in my day. It does happen. Hold on a minute. Oh, no, it happened. I was like, I didn't get a notification that it died. It died. There it is. Get, get back out there. Get back out there, you coward. <laughs> I'm going to improve the oil. Which oil? Blue wings. I don't know that I have an oil that's unimproved. Oh, didn't realize that we grew to that. Nice. Thanks, you guys. Good call. Yeah, I had no idea. I didn't even see that. 
I knew we were going to get there eventually. I know we had already done that one, so. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Good catch, you guys. That is good for me. We're at eight per turn, so that'll give me even more. Still pretty expensive for the one per turn shenanigans. I think I'm going to turn that into an encampment. I like it. That'll be good. Let's get that. Worry about the rest of it later. Cool whip. Thank you so much for the follow. Speaking of follows, uh, it's okay. So my Twitch followers are at nine thousand six hundred and forty-nine, and my YouTube subs, which are basically the same thing, at nine thousand two hundred and seventy-one. So like really close to ten thousand on both. Uh, but I think YouTube's going to get there faster than Twitch, which is actually kind of crazy. But they're kind of racing. They're kind of racing for 10k follows. My man. <laughs> Speaking of follows, Rot, Rot NTM, thank you so much for that one. Thanks for the uh, your, your commitment to the cause. <laughs> What kind of walls do you have here? Medieval. I mean, I don't know about only AN. I think that's pretty decent. Makes 300 all YouTube accounts. And <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll chill. We'll chill. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's actually pretty good as far as uh, ratios go. I don't want to make an army yet. Might as well wait two turns, right? I'm like not even using the governors. Keep getting neutralized anyways. Skip that as well. She mad. She mad. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, we have a couple unassigned governors. I don't think it matters too much. How do you know when you have a capital? You want her original capital. Which I believe is just here. Do I care about this? She does not have a lot of units left. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Ian. Okay. We'll get a dam afterwards. So that doesn't happen again. Go for Big Ben. Well, we're about to spend all our money. Let's 
says industrial and modern. So you actually want to be over here by the cavalry. I have this dude who can hang out there. And then we have this dude who can hang out there. That works. Purple Lurt, Purple Durple, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Petra. All right, so we hit another golden age here. No longer in a heroic, but we can keep our reform the coinage going. I think that is the most relevant one to just protect our trade routes and things. Uh, yeah, we're going to be at war most of the game, so this is definitely our choice. I don't want anything. Let me get that. How many caps are left? Three left still. I can upgrade uh, inventory now if I want. Could also make this army. That has some strange names. I agree. I have always considered. Okay. So if we take this city, we do get more oil. Probably going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> Greetings that come from the tube of you. Really enjoy your videos. Help me pass the time during this pandemic. Glad to be able to do that. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And thanks for stopping by the live stream. Happy to have you here. Welcome in, Purple. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, I think flight is probably a little bit more relevant. Now that we have oil units, we can kind of go up the uh, top half of the tech tree. I think it's okay. Just keep these cities busy for a while. Don't really have to worry about this. Although, again, probably doesn't take too much to uh, take them. And, like, down here, they don't even have walls, right? So might as well. This is the city we'll probably ignore. Let it loyalty flip to us. So we're almost done with this. And then I guess we position our land army up here and go uh, go back against Genghis, who's now at 2,000 military strength. Why? All right, I, I need more to help with that then. He's too, uh, that's too scary. That's crazy. 
That is actually crazy. This one's probably got a while in it yet, Vinny. To be honest. No, you're on. Yeah, we could take him out last. Um, I don't know how quickly I can get my army over here. It's going to be pretty tough to like get in here. I don't even know what his land looks like. I kind of want to just push for bombers now. Bombers just make life so much easier. Can I take my army over water? Not really realistically, like with all this this uh, snow and ice here. That's not really a good option. The the faster option would be just to take everybody through the uh, the um, roads, I think. Single GDR? I doubt he has a single GDR. Yeah, nobody's nobody's there yet. He's actually behind me. He's in the industrial, so now that we have modern units, we can fight him a little bit better. Still in the Monza series, so this is a bit of a spoiler. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Astonished with your ability to break down your reasoning on district placement, specifically when you pass the plus 12 holy site. Very informative, and I appreciate that. You're taking the time to explain your decisions. Hey, I love it, because some people hate how long-winded I am, and that's fine. That means they're not going to be a big fan of the channel, and that's that's totally cool. Uh, but yeah, that's what I love doing, Purple, so thank you for uh, for the positive reinforcement. I'm really glad you enjoy it. Sort of, I've always sort of had an analytical brain. Uh, and it just kind of translates well to Civ, I think. Make railroads. Yeah, we could. That sounds even more tedious than just passing turns, though, doesn't it? Like, I'd almost rather just pass, like, an extra two turns than take the time it would take to make... Uh, Railroads, sadly. Hi, Mayra. Welcome, welcome. I just want to see if they even have walls. They do. So we probably don't bother with them. I see the rumors for the new update. Yeah, I don't really, I'm not super interested in it, in rumors. Um, I just think it's all, it's way too much speculation. I really don't like rumors from this standpoint of like, I would much rather, like if for Axis, and I have no idea if they are or not, but if they are coming out with new content, I'd very much like them to control the distribution of it and be able to enjoy that side of things because, yeah, it's pretty relevant. And if you look at the last rumor we got, nothing came of it, right? Like, I think it is just, it is just attention seeking like well, look at what could happen well yeah anything could happen call me when it does would i love new civ content yes am i gonna talk about it before there is probably not a ton probably not a ton yeah i'd love i'd love an automated railroad builder fast forward thank you so much for the brand new Pr twitch prime sub appreciate that welcome into the shop good to have you here is there any reason to take that city no, I can't really think of one. <laughs> My thoughts on Tom Brady, the Buccaneers. You know how, like, you know how when animal i don't know if you guys are, are pet owners and i'm sorry that this is a bit of a bummer uh but you know how like animals when they know that they are dying they will find like a corner away from the people they know and their masters and stuff and they'll just kind of find a quiet corner to go pass on to the next world i feel like that's kind of like tom brady going to the buccaneers you know
Can you speak about it when, when it's a smart decision to raise a city rather than conquer it? What analysis goes into that? Um, generally speaking, you just want to hold cities, even if they're poor cities, poorly placed cities, or cities that don't have water. Uh, the fact that settlers get so expensive and it gets hard to churn out more and more of your own, um, not to mention the time it takes to get cities to be established and things like that. So generally speaking, don't raise cities unless you have a very specific plan. If you're like, oh my God, he just settled the exact wrong, wrong spot for my Ruhr Valley city then okay go ahead right like go ahead and raise that city and do the city you want but in general don't raise cities not anymore i used to do it a lot in vanilla because i was also very very picky about city placement and district placement and stuff um but since then the cost of settlers get exponentially more and more uh uh production heavy and uh yeah a quiet corner with no state tax i know isn't it weird how that works out <laughs> hey saltis how you doing <laughs> Maybe, Jay. Mike Evans and Chris Godwins are pro bow receivers. Oh, better than he's ever had in New England. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what he's not going to have that he had in New England? New England. <laughs> so, oh, good luck to him. Is it generally the right decision to conquer if there's no way you can hold a city due to loyalty concerns? Yeah, that's another that's another instance where you could where you could raise it. I've I've raised some cities like that too, especially and they tend to be irrelevant cities. They tend to be a smaller city on the cusp of like a, a burgeoning empire. Um, you know, so so I, I that is another appropriate decision decision uh, point to to raise. I'm okay with that too. Um, but yeah, gonna sign Antonio Brown too. That'd be crazy. If we have an NFL season, we're going to have an NFL season. I, I I would be shocked. The NFL of all the things in the world that will be canceling things. I don't I don't know. NFL doesn't seem to be. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they're going to be one of them. Since when is Gypsum Macquarie improvement? As far as I know, since Vanilla. But I could be wrong. So we have this taken care of. I don't need this or this. We'll just leave them alone. So I guess the goal is to bring up my artillery. Maybe we go after Muscat first. How do I... What's the best way to kind of like position for this? Look at how many units he has. He's coming after Kabul. Look at this. Tons and tons of units in here. Hmm. Worried about the college draft? Yeah, I suppose. How many cores and armies? Quite a few. Yeah, I was thinking about an aerodrome. Like, we just don't get there super, super fast. Where is his capital? Uh, Do I even see it? I don't think I see it. I think it's here. Hey, Kevin. Another thing I do that absolutely blew you away was delaying your religion in the Monza game. I had no idea uh, some of the stuff I was talking about, like cities, <laughs> like the cities auto adopting. Do you understand it all now, Purple? Is there anything I can clarify for you? I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to jump ahead of where 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 people are. It's just that there's some things that I've explained a lot, uh, and so it's not it's not that I'm intentionally like going fast, uh, but I just kind of wind up doing that. I can move you now. To Spain. I hope you're well as well, Kevin. Good to see you, man. Okay, awesome purple. 
Thanks, man. Thank you for the awesome feedback. I really appreciate it. So your first seriously game of Deity last night as Peter had nine copies of Salt and Silver in your first three cities. That's crazy. That's crazy. Every time you get up from your desk, you're further reminded that yesterday was leg day. Dude, I ran yesterday. I actually physically went outside and ran. And I I am paying for it today to some degree. No, it actually felt really good. <laughs> Thanks, Hoag. How you doing, bud? Yeah, I'm very, very excited uh, to, to hopefully get... I want to I want I want to be healthy. I want to be like I I want to be a healthier version of me than I was like 10 years ago, if that makes any sense. Like I like like true like mind body soul, like the whole thing. It sounds corny, but it it really, I don't know. It sounds like a dream. 23 pop. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Reminds me of a question you had earlier, if you delay your or is delaying your religion a good idea when you want to win a religious victory or only when defending against one it's usually a good idea in both situations although sometimes if you start spreading your religion really early that's not an option um but usually i think it's a good strategy it's a sound strategy for both but what was i running from uh my fat <laughs> my, my, my fat belly just running away from it. <laughs> Sounds good, Ordos. Thank you for the question. Have I ever been burned delaying? Uh, no, you usually don't really get burned by it. Um, you can run into some awkwardness with, again, like if you're trying to spread your religion or like not not having the time to really make it all happen and you're desperate for error score or mechanic. something like Thanks that. Thanks for such great content over the last year and three quarters. Thank you, do that. You're always able to put a smile on my face even when times are tough. Thanks for just being a kind, joyful streamer. Thank you for being your wonderful self as well. Welcome back for 21 Hi. months. I really do appreciate that, do that. Thank you for the kind words, and uh, I'm so happy to be able to do that. Thanks for being a part of this community. We're happy to have you here as well. And uh, speaking of part of the community, welcome in, Harrison. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I have a lot of envoys. I'm going to do that, I think. Yeah, you, you'd have to buy it on multiple platforms, Godman, I'm pretty sure. But it's super cheap right now if you want to do that. I want more armies. I want more oil units. Yeah, we have some pretty heavily rated uh, ranked units. We've been fighting a long time. This has been a really hard game. I did improve the oil. Oh, it keeps getting... Uh, I've improved it three times. <laughs> or twice, at least. It keeps getting wrecked by that blizzard. Much appreciated, do that. Have a wonderful day. We will see you later on. I can get six more oil units. I 
I gotta get this one too. Maybe I can bring this guy down to get it. He has one build left. Oh no, that won't work then. I can make this one do it. Alright, should I make peace then? I'm gonna say yes. Ooh yeah, give me that money. Give me your sweet, sweet money, Dido. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff. All right, time for another cut. We are three three capitals taken over, two more to go. Uh, and I'm probably just gonna sign up for a war, like a pretty a pretty intense, like my modern units versus your industrial, now that we've sort of teched ahead of him. Uh, and it's pretty similar, like picking which one to fight, and my army just happens to be over here. So I'm probably gonna try to find a defensive position here, set up, uh, and then, Eat, eat a bunch of his units if we can while we build towards planes and things like that. So that'll be the plan for now. If you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. Look forward to seeing you then.